All right, guys, if you're like me and you've been indoor and not getting a lot of workouts, this desk cycle two is gonna be great. This is gonna be right underneath my desk. So whether I'm gaming or working or just chilling on the couch, I'll be able to get my exercise in with no extra effort. And it's gonna be awesome because yeah, who doesn't wanna get fit without having to really work for it, right? So boom. Death Cycle 2, let's unbox this and see what we get in this box. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is a little bit heavy. That means when it's underneath your desk, it's not gonna be sliding all around, all over the place. It's gonna be great for a good solid workout. Unboxing of this right here, boom, open it up. Ah, heavy, open it up. Boom, right there, boom, right there, and boom. We got the manual right there. Make sure we read the manual, and we got the death cycle in there. Do we have to actually assemble this thing? I don't know, here's some foam on the side. We don't need no foam, right? This is the bulk of the device. The death cycle too. Very solid, very good weight to it. Death cycle too. We got this other box. In this box, we got the feet. Oh, how cute. Open me, display stand inside ah we have our tool so we don't need any additional tool it comes with a tool for us we got the feet right here so let's go ahead and attach this to our main unit in just a bit we got the other part of the feet right here so we're gonna attach this to the main unit in a little bit ah these look like straps so you can put your feet through here or your shoes we got velcro in there as well inside that we got one more box what's in this box we got a double a battery right here and we got the display boom right there all right let's put this thing together and start exercising so first thing first we're gonna consult our instruction manual right here <sighs> instruction manual we got the assembly instructions right there that's how you assemble everything together. We got our large leg right here with the tool. Just loosen the nut just like that. And you can almost loosen it by hand right here. Here we go. Let's get this one right here. All right. So our nut and washer came off. These bolts right here on the large feet line up with the exercise bike. And then we're using our nuts right here. Okay. And on the other side right here, same deal. So the washer has a concavity. Just match the concavity of the washer with the roundness of this arc right here. And then put the nut on top. All right, so we're just gonna hand tighten this for now. Okay, right here, hand tighten this for now. Here's our small leg. So we're gonna undo the bolt right here. If the nut is not too tight, use a tool to lightly untighten the nut and take out the nut and washer. Here we go. Got it! Attaching the front feet right here. Boom! There's the front feet. And then we're just gonna use our nut and bolt to tighten it down. So make sure you pay attention to the concavity of the washer. And we'll just put the nut right onto this baby right here. Tighten up the nut. The other washer right here. And the other nut right here. There we go! Hand tighten. So far, small feet, large feet. Looking pretty good! The next step is we're gonna use a tool to tighten up these bolts right here. So here we go, just tighten the bolts. So you just use this tool right here to tighten the nut. Right there, tighten the nut, right there. Same with this one right here. Tighten up all the nuts. Okay, and this one right here, let's get this one tightened. It's very important to lay this thing flat and tighten the nut, but not overly tighten. It's nice that they come with a tool. So you can install everything without any additional tool. Pretty good right there. Okay, on this side right here. Sweet. Tighten. All right, cool, cool, cool. What's next now? So these are the pedals right here, guys. L right there. And this one, R. If you can't read that, you can read these right there. You see, L and R. And to tell you the direction to turn to install them as well. Perfect, let's go ahead and install these pedals. So right here is this L right there. We're gonna match it with the L pedal right here. So you see L right there? So we gotta get the wrench right here and install the pedal, just like that. So we're gonna use a wrench to install the pedal. We're installing the left pedal counterclockwise. We're gonna tighten this as tight as possible. I think it's pretty tight, we're good. Let's get the other pedal on. And the right pedal we install by turning it clockwise with the tool, okay? Here we go, turning this thing clockwise with the tool right here. All right, closing it out right here. Again, 
We're gonna tighten this as tight as possible. Uh, tight as possible. Uh, just tighten the pedal right here. Okay, I think that's good. Here's our display right here. The back pops in and out right here. We're just gonna pop the back out just like that. Here we go. The back pops out. We got our battery right here. Let's go ahead and take out the wrappings from our battery. Here we go. Polarity, figure that out. There we go. There's our battery installed just like that. And the cover pops back in right here. Oh, like that. And we got the cover installed. The display is starting to show some numbers. Looking pretty good. Right here, we have a cable that connects to the back of our display just like that. Once you do that, you can slide this back onto your cycle, your death cycle too, and ta-da, we're all connected up. Ah, oh, don't forget, we have the display stand. If you decide to use the display on the table and not have the display attached to your cycler right here. We got our shoes on. Let's go ahead and put our feet onto the bike right there. We got the straps right here, solid. And the other feet on this one. Solid. Okay. And just cycle away. Nice. And then we can move closer. Oh yeah, this is nice. Oh yeah, that's sweet. And that is how you use the dust cycle. We're gonna adjust the tension. Right here you can see our numbers and the display. And you can change the output. That's your distance right there. That's your time, just right here. You see these? Uh, markers right here, RPM, distance, time, and calories. They correspond to these numbers right here. And down here, you have the tension. So you can change it to like level eight. That's some serious tension right there. Let's see how eight is. Oh, eight is a good amount of tension. Oh yeah, I can feel that really working. And then we can keep it really light right here to level one, super light tension, solid. Nice tension right there, not too bad. Oh, that that's very light. So I probably wanna do something like Probably like number four right here. And this is like super easy to adjust the tension right here. So there's our level four right there. So nice level four tension. Solid. I like this. It works. Number four tension. Here we go. Just like that. And you can see the inside of that. You see like all the internals of the exercise bike working there. Pretty cool. Nice design. Very nice. Yeah, this is fantastic. The Death Cycle 2. Love this thing, love this thing. So guys, that is a Death Cycle 2. Very easy to install, very solid device, very awesome to look at while you're working out. You got eight different tension controls, magnetic so it's nice and whisper quiet, very easy to change the tension. This Death Cycle 2 is a welcome addition to my home office, my office as well as my sofa, couch area, living room area. This is great. Anywhere where you're sitting down, you can get a workout in. This is fantastic. The Death Cycle 2, awesome little exercise machine. You're gonna love it. What's not to love about exercise that takes almost no effort? You owe it to yourself to work out and stay healthy. The Death Cycle 2, boom, right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs>